Welcome to Nitro. Today, we want to take you through managing users in Nitro Sign Premium. Let's get started. Managing users has never been easier, with administrators being able to add, remove and edit their team and experience through the user management portal. Let's begin by looking at the user management portal. Click the settings button on the top right hand corner and choose user management. Here, we have access to three main sections, user profiles, user groups, and document groups. The user profile view gives us a list of users who are a part of the Nitro Sign team. A breakdown of email, first name and last name, language, registration date and status are shown. Clicking the action button beside the user allows us to delete or edit the user profile, including whether we'd like to revoke their access. To invite a user to a team, click the invite users button on the top left hand side. Enter the email address and you have the option to add them to a user group. Something to note is that they'll automatically be added to the default user group. If you want to add users in bulk, make sure there's a comma to separate the emails before you copy and paste them in. When a user is invited to the team, they'll receive an email to activate their account. They have 72 hours to accept the invitation to the NitroSign team before it expires. If they'd like to join after their invitation has expired, we can simply send another request using the same method as inviting new users. The user will need to follow the link where they can enter their details or use single sign-on to finish activation. One major advantage of single sign-on when using NitroSign is if the user leaves the company. Upon their single sign-on access being removed, access will also be revoked in NitroSign Premium. Going back to our user management portal, let's take a look into user groups. User groups is a way to assign permissions to a user. We can create a new user group or edit an existing one. Under the general tab, you can set the permissions of the document portal, signer portal, template portal, and the user management portal, each having a subset of permissions you can tailor to individual roles. The user profiles tab lets you quickly add and remove users to the user group. To explain what the document group tab does, let's quickly go through what a document group is. A document group can be thought of as a repository or folder, separate to the user's My Documents. It's an easy way to create sub-teams within NitroSign Premium. The document group tab lets you customize what permissions the user profile has. You can see here we've created document groups based off the functions of the business. This user group I've created is recruitment, which is part of the HR function. So I'm going to give them full access to the HR document group, and I can remove access to the other groups as well. Following on from the document group section under user groups, we also have the document group tab. Here, we can add new document groups and edit what permissions each user group has. Under the themes tab, we can also apply a different theme to the document group. That's all for today. See you next time.